This is a video showing you how to do a perspective drawing in Autodesk Architecture 2012. Now Professor Gates asked me to figure out how to make layers in Autodesk, Invent or Autodesk Architecture. Unfortunately, I was not successful in doing this. I can show you how far I got. If anyone can figure it out, um, congratulations, you're a genius. So this is what I was able to do so far. If you click on the project browser up here, close out of this. All right, so you can see right here, this is where you make and create levels. And if you click this button right here, just by clicking this button here, you can add as many levels as you want, change the elevations of each level, etc., etc. So there we've made a level. The problem is, I don't know how to put walls, doors, windows, etc. onto that level. It's For some reason, it's not like layers. There must be some other thing that I'm missing. But as of now, I don't know how to place in layers. So if anyone can figure that out, again, congratulations. So I know some of you, are, uh, Professor Gates mentioned that some of you had wanted perspective drawings. And so you're probably asking, how do I do that if I can't make layers? Well, uh, the only thing I can really think of is, here's just a generic building. Um, say this is the first layer. Scroll up or to the side, whatever you want. And then, unfortunately, you'll have to redraw that layer. Or, not that layer, but the layout. And I'm just going to quickly sketch out a generic layout. There we go. Okay, so you'll sketch the next layer uh, next to this layer here, and then do all your annotations, etc. And so when you put objects in the viewports, just put this section in the viewport, and then when you're ready for the next one, do this section. Now I know that's a lot more work, and I apologize, but now I, I'm going to show you how to do the perspective drawings, if, if you're still interested. So as you can see in this perspective, you know, this is an ordinary uh, wall height. Let's see. Oop. Sorry. I'll open up the wall command again. All right, so this is a wall of that's 10 feet high. OK. So what we're going to do Let's draw a second building next to this one, and I'll show you how to do perspective for that one. So when you do your actual building, the only way I can think of to do it is to draw only the outside walls of your building. Okay, so we're going to open up the wall command, and when you look at the base height of your wall, we're going. To, let's say we want to add a second layer. We'll go from 10 feet to 20 feet in height. Hit enter. Alright, so now when we draw, say it's a 30 by 20 house, very small house. So now when we draw, instead of being 10 feet high, the walls will be tw 20 feet high. And so we're going to kind of cheat a little bit and say that's two layers. So 30 feet and another 20 feet. Okay. So now if you look at these buildings, this one obviously is much taller than that one. So now we'll add just one door. Six inches. Alright. Alright, so now we've added the door. Now as you can see here, obviously we want the door at ground level, but when we place windows we're going to want them higher up. So now what we're going to do is place just one window for now. We're going to place it five feet from the right wall. Okay. So now when you look at it in perspective, obviously that one's in line with the door. But let's say you want it higher up on the quote-unquote second floor. 
So we'll double click this. All right. And if you look at this right here, you can see the head height and sill height. Now this is different from the width and height of, or I should say just the height of the window. This is where it's positioned on the building. So right now it's the bottom of the window is at 1 foot 8 inches from the ground. So we're just going to add, if it'll let us, okay, never mind, we're going to change the head instead. So we're just going to add 10 feet onto this. Now from this view it doesn't look like anything's really changed except that you'll notice the window's no longer there. But if you look on the perspective the window is now up here. So what you can do then you can do that for the rest of the windows on the upper floors. Then we just but then when you go back to add the bottom floor, you want to do that last. Just enter in the, nor the windows normally. And there you are. You have two windows stacked on top of each other. And from there, you can attempt to do the rest of the house. You can add the roof, too. Now again, you'll have to change where the roof is, um, as I'll show you it still thinks the walls are 10 feet high. All right, so there's our roof. And as you can see, it's going through the middle of the house. And I'm going to change the viewport for now, make things a little neater. Um, there we go, okay. So we still need to work on the roof. So double click on the roof, and again you'll have to scroll down, and for the elevation, just add another 10 feet, and, oh that's 10 inches, okay. There we go. So now, when you look at it, you have your roof at the right height and a perspective drawing of your building. So, there you are.